What's up, Julia here from Julia Hill Fitness. So I want to address the elephant in the room today. Um, this is not something you haven't heard before, but despite the fact that you can find evidence for this all over the internet, I still find that it's really hard to convince most women that if they start lifting weights, and I mean really lifting weights, that they're gonna bulk up or start to look manly or develop this physique that is somehow bigger than they want. Um, it's just not the case. And so I wanna dive into that and sort of go point for point here and really just convince you that strength training is where it's at. I want you under that barbell. I want you lifting weights. So let's start with just understanding muscle growth in general, okay? so. In trainer speak, in the fitness world, muscle growth is called hypertrophy, right? The enlargement of muscles. And I, that that's immediately where people freak out. Enlargement, I'm, you know, hear me out. Follow me all the way through, right? So you work out, you go to the gym, you lift weights. You create micro tail tears in the muscle fiber. It's the repairing and rebuilding of those tears it's that process plus proper nutrition that's absolutely required. That's what creates hypertrophy. That's what builds muscle, right? And so this process of breakdown, repair, rebuild, grow so that the next time your body's intention here is that the next time it sees that stress, that lift, it's better at it. It can exert less energy, right? That's your goal, your body's whole, entire goal in life. So. That process is what builds muscle. And I'm gonna tell you right now, early on in this video, it is muscle that is tone. Tone is just another word, divine muscle, sculpted, toned, that's all muscle, okay? So it's lifting that is going to give you that sculpted, toned, defined look, okay? So this growth requires a specific combination of factors, including genetics, hormones, nutrition, consistency, workout variables, specific, variables specifically, um, it takes years of dedicated training to build physiques, to build muscles. There is a reason that bodybuilding is a lifelong pursuit and sport for some people, right? So that that is muscle fiber growth. That is hypertrophy. So what is the difference between hypertrophy and strength training, just so that you know, um, it really comes down to variables. There is definitely some overlap, but hypertrophy is the enlargement of uh, the muscles themselves, whereas strength training, the goal is to strengthen the muscle fibers that are already there, right? So again, there's some overlap, but the variables are going to change a little bit when you go into the gym and you're actually doing your workouts, right? Let me just check my notes here, make sure I'm covering anything. Okay, so here's the big thing, right? Is that there, I mentioned that there's a lot that goes into building muscle. The reality is that most women do not have the starting muscle mass to progress in a way that's gonna create this like Hulk idea that we have in our minds, right? On top of that, we don't have the hormone profile, right? So we have some testosterone and that, that's sort of that, that big, hormone that we talk about when we talk about gym and growth and it's why people take steroids, right? So so women don't have enough testosterone to like explode their muscles to do the roof, right? Plus, it requires a surplus, like a massive surplus we're talking about here of, of calories, right? And, and I'll tell you right now, most of the, all of the women I train, there's not a single one that comes close to eating enough food to create that like bulk look, right? So, and the, the thing is, is it, it's almost counterintuitive to think that way because the reality is that as you build muscle, what you're actually also doing at the same time is increasing your metabolic rate, right, right? Because muscle is more metabolically active, meaning it requires more energy, more calories to maintain, for your body to maintain, than fat, right? So the more muscle you have, the higher your resting metabolic rate, which means your body is going to use more energy, burn more fat, burn more calories, even while you're just sitting up here on the couch listening to me talk to you about how you're not gonna be the Hulk if you lift weights, right? So so there, there are these pieces of the puzzle 
that just create this cycle of loveliness for a sculpted defined body, a physique that you're super proud of, building muscle in all the right places and losing fat in the places that you don't want them, right? So the reality is, is that you go into the gym, you lift weights, even if you lift weights every single day, which you shouldn't do, you need recovery days, right? You're not ever going to bulk up like that. I promise you, I have been doing this for a very long time. And by doing this, I mean lifting heavy weights. And I, I'm, I mean, I'm not bulky, right? If you think I am, I don't know, that's on you. Anyway, so lift weights. The benefits are insane, okay? And you don't wanna miss out on them. Beyond the fact that you're building muscle, which builds a phenomenal physique, right? So you pass by in the mirror, you're gonna be checking your own butt out, you're gonna be seeing some shadow behind that tricep, you're gonna be impressed with yourself, I promise, but there are other benefits that go even beyond that, right? And so that's everything from hormone health, to better sleep and better quality of sleep. We talked about the metabolic benefits, right? More muscle, less fat, better metabolic rate, uh, better functionality, just general movement throughout life, going up the stairs without huffing and puffing, bringing all the groceries in at once, picking up kids, picking up pets, all of that, right? Um, increased... What are we talking about here? I'm missing everything, right? <laughs> Increase bone density. Ladies, this is huge, okay? This is just fact. The statistics are everywhere. As we age, we lose bone density. You can halt that process and even reverse it with lifting weights, right? And then I think the biggest one that we kind of don't give enough credit is confidence, right? Like you, yes, there's, there's massive confidence boosting benefits from building the body that you have this, you know, idea of this, this goal to build, but even sooner than you get that ideal body that you want is just the fact that like, you can't cheat this, right? You, you can take, you can take a huge amount of pride in the fact that to build this body, to build muscle, it requires dedication, resiliency, perseverance, consistency, it requires so much, right? And that's something that really builds confidence from day one. You don't have to wait to reach those goals down the line. That's like day one sort of benefits, right? So there's so much that goes into this. Um, I'm obsessed with it. As you can tell, my clients will tell you that as well. But listen, the fact of the matter is at the end of the day, you should be in the gym lifting weights, learning how to Focus on strength training and throw the scale in the trash and really just build your body, build your life, right? And the benefits are just through the roof and you're not going to look like the Hulk. So listen, check out the article. I've linked it below for a little bit more of a deep dive. Um, also a way to program your own strength building and muscle building programming. Um, and one of my favorite client transformations simply because it's just a prime example of everything I've been talking about here today. So um, check that out. And then if you learned something from this video, please subscribe, please like, and uh, we'll be back for more. Have a good day.